uh, in this module, we'll talk about the schema of the web-based database application. We'll talk about the architecture and the architecture specifically the three-tier architecture, the data access layer. So uh, we will be talking about the three-tier architecture a number of times. This three, this is very keyword over here, and this three-tier tier architecture will be looking at from different angles, from different aspects, because this is the core of a web-based application, and we look at that three-tier architecture from different aspects so as to enhance your understanding, to enhance your comprehension about this web-based database applications. So now I will explain it to you diagrammatically and things will become uh, more simple and more understandable. And of course, I will enhance that understanding with more examples. So these are the design considerations for a three-tier architecture. So you can call it, this is the client tier, this is the web server tier, and this over here is the database tier. Now these divisions are logical. These divisions are logical and these divisions are loosely coupled. Okay. They are logical as well as loosely coupled. And these are the boundaries of these divisions. And this makes the understanding of the concept more simple, more understandable. So we have this uh, data component part. Now remember that these two things, they are not the same. This is the actual data. This is the data aspects of the web server. These are the business logic of the web server. And this is you. You are the client over here. You are the client over here. So the client is the browser. It is the browser and it could be many browsers are there. And of course, these are the cross cutting things. So we will cover all of these aspects uh, in the subsequent modules in the subsequent slides. Now let's look at the web application framer. The framer which uh, this is these are some of the components. These are the aspects which need to be addressed for a web based database application. Uh, over here I have shown you about 10 of them. There are more than 10 and uh, I will discuss all of them in detail. Let's look at the uh, authentication aspect also. Now this authentication is at the trust boundary and this authentication ensures that there are no issues. Actually there are issues if the passwords are stored as text files. So the issues of password stored as text file are covered in this authentication. Then is the authorization. In the authorization also, this is also at the trust boundary. So uh, this is also covered. And of course the exception management. For the issue of exception management could be say for example, that uh, enough detail is not stored when an exception takes place. And of course the list goes on. I will cover all of these things when we come to the main part, the main component of this uh, module. Then there are four main layers over here. These are the layers over here. So we have the presentation layer, the business layer, the data layer and the service layer. The presentation layer takes care of the what you see on your screen, how you interact with the web application and the business layer is where the business logic is built. This is the most important part because that's where the programming takes place. This is the middle tier. This is the web server tier where a web programming language is used such as PHP, which we covered in this course. And then is the data layer. The data layer is where you access the data itself, the database, and then the service layer. Service layer is takes into account when you are hosting your application at a certain level with a certain service provider, which I discussed in the last module. Then is the testing and testability. This means that how testing scenarios are built, how testing takes place and how testing results can be evaluated. Then are the performance considerations. Uh, these are the non-functional requirements in terms of CPU, in terms of memory, in terms of clock cycles and so on. Then are the security considerations. Now you can see there's a slight repetition authentication, authorization and client side validation. Client side validation means that things are not sent from the client which could hamper the operation of the main server. So that is the client side validation. Then is the server side validation. That for say for example, uh, be before something is submitted to the server, 
uh, it is checked at the server end assuming that it has passed from the client end that can happen also so that validation should be take place over there also and then encryption as i said in the last module that tcp and ip were not built for e-commerce were not built for having database applications running on the web right with with important uh, data about the banks uh, financial institutions so that was not built into tcp ip so encryption is an important aspect then finally are the deployment considerations non distributed deployment so the application is residing at a single place at the main server and it gives a good performance why because the processing is not distributed the results don't have to go through the internet where the bottlenecks can be present and then is the distributed deployment distributed deployment has scalability so if i have more load then i can distribute my processing at different aspects so over here i i am i am over here i can send it over there send it over there send it over there so this means that the distribution of the processing reduces the load and i can increase scalability load balancing when i have distributed the application then i should ensure that there are no hot spots meaning that the processing is not overwhelmed at a certain node so that the overall impact is a degradation in performance and then the web farm considerations uh, web farm considerations uh, take into account the load balancing the load distribution and uh, performance scalability and finally the technology considerations so there is an ecosystem of different uh, organizations of different products say microsoft products so when we uh, develop an application we take into account all the aspects all the technologies and all the services and all the programs and all the applications which are there which are provided by a certain company so that they talk together collectively there are no issues there are no hiccups and things are working smoothly so this is what i'll have to cover in this module